Welcome to my channel viewers please endeavor to like, share and subscribe, so you will be the first to view latest informations. Members of the crowd cheer when a man, sporting a blue swimsuit and a lengthy crimson striped tie, walks through their area in the Cavelli Center. Some of the rally attendees stand, as the man smiles and waves at them, applauding him earlier than he climbs the steps to the press risers. Surprisingly, the man at the core of this reward is no longer Donald Trump, even although the former U.S. president is the host of the rally in the hardscrabble Rust Belt town of Youngstown, Ohio. Instead, the object of the crowd's adoration is Mike Lindell, the chief government of Mipolo, and one of the most committed promoters of the lie that Democrats stole the 2020 election through considerable fraud. Lindell has come to be a goal of scorn and mockery amongst Democrats, anti-Trump Republicans and even late-night hosts, however he has discovered a domestic at the rallies, the place the former president's die-hard followers collect to lament that Joe Biden illegally resides in the White House. While Lindell nevertheless makes a residing off promoting foam pillows, not to point out sheet sets, slippers and pet beds, he has now committed tens of hundreds of thousands of greenbacks to exposing the supposedly big electoral fraud that he can't prove. Lindell's antics and his near ubiquitous presence in commercials on far-right structures, my patented fill, adjusts to your specific person, needs Lindell crows in one pillow commercial, have made it convenient for Trump's critics to snort him off. But Lindell's effective and developing have an effect on with a positive contingent of US voters, demonstrates how deeply election lies have taken root in the Republican Party, a style that ought to have disastrous penalties on America's future elections. He's systematically decreasing half-faith in elections stated Ian Van Walker, senior tips in the Brennan Center's elections and government program. You have to accept as true with that elections are legit in order for democracy to keep its legitimacy. And so even when election effects are wondered primarily based on falsehoods and matters that have been established false over and over again, that lingering suspicion or belief that there's something illegitimate threatens the complete system. A convalescing crack cocaine addict, Lindell says he received sober in January 2009 and determined to rededicate his lifestyles to Christianity and his business, Miplo, which he launched after having a dream about growing the best pillow. In 2011, Lindell began producing the infomercials that have grown to be his trademark, and Miplo quickly commenced to develop rapidly. According to Lindell, extra than 50 million Miplos have now been sold, and his Minnesota-based organization employs about 2,000 people. Before Trump launched his first presidential campaign, Lindell was a self-described political newbie who ought to not surely distinguish between Democrats and Republicans. I had to research what a liberal was, what a conservative was. I didn't recognize something about politics Lindell instructed CNN in 2018. I was an addict, I was a crackhead. I didn't get into politics, and I didn't understand how necessary they were. That modified when Trump got here down a golden escalator in the summer season of 2015. Lindell has stated he first met the then-presidential candidate in 2016, when Trump invited him to New York to discuss about his business operations. After Trump received election, Lindell made a couple of appearances at the White House, collaborating in a producer's summit and one of the first coronavirus briefings. Taking on the position of campaign circuit first in the 2018 midterms and later in the 2020 election, Lindell grew to be an ordinary fixture of Trump's rallies, presenting increasingly more outlandish compliments about the president. Speaking at the 2019 Conservative Political Action Conference, Lindell declared that Trump had been chosen via God to lead the nation. They're all troopers in this fight, and it's a holy war stated Reed Galen, co-founder of the anti-Trump crew The Lincoln Project. They wrap all of this in religiosity, it's not solely like, I'm struggle for freedom however I'm conflict for freedom actually below the banner of